welcome back to episode three on uh, this let's play map green river i'm currently down at the shop and today we're going to be focusing on some animals on the last episode i finished the episode off by pla placing this horse pen so we're going to get some horses we're going to get some sheep and we're going to get some chickens um, you won't actually believe it, but I started doing this video and I was about 10 minutes into doing the video and I realised that I wasn't actually streaming. <laughs> so I've had to restart it, but it's fine. I didn't waste too much time. Um, unfortunately though, I did purchase all the equipment ready, um, which I did a bit of a talk through before. So I'm just going to do a little, a little run round on this. Um, so I've decided to go for um, a horse transport and I just got it in plain grey and that costs 16,000 um, and the reason for that is if you know I'm going to be doing quite a bit with horses and you're going to be buying and selling you know particularly selling so over time the fees add up so I thought well I'll buy a, I'll buy a wagon a transport wagon for the horses I've got this Joskin Aquatrans um, water tank filling up the tanks for the sheep and the and the horses I got this it's a, this is a mod um, Flegel flatbed trailer uh, for carrying the, the bales that I'm going to take back and I got some straw and I got some hay for um, the feed and the straw straw for the bedding and then finally I got this um, it's part of the Anderson download pack um, and it's a it's a straw spreader um, and I think that cost about it cost 32,000 obviously there are cheaper ones out there uh, that you have to pick up with the bell spikes or you know that come, come with come with the equipment but this one I quite like because it's a pull trailer on it so so yeah and I've already loaded up um, a straw bale into the back of that so last time, if you remember, um, we just finished off sowing fields 21 and 20. And they're still in their first growth stage. Um, I'm on the same kind of game day, you know, day that's passed in game. It's still the morning time. Uh, well just gone afternoon and it's still raining so I thought perfect opportunity to start setting some stuff up but for animals so I'm going to take this back and then I'll come and get the, the rest of the equipment I'm, I know I'm tracking over someone's field but it's just the shortest route not realistic but it's the shortest route so where is the animal? Oh, the animal dealer's all the way over there. That's all right. I might do a little time lapse for you when I'm doing the journey over to the animals, just so I keep the keep the video time down. So behind the scenes, between this episode and the last, all I've really done is chop down a ton of trees that were in my kind of compound area, uh, like I said I would last time. Um, and I've just sold them off. So if you remember last time, down this, that down that path, right down there between the silo and and this other housing farm barn barn compound area, it was full of trees. So I've I've chopped all them down. I've sold them, and I've detrunked the area. I've also the, there was a perimeter around around by these fences here. That also had some trees on. That I was chopping down on the last video so I got rid of the rest of those um, and also the ones down there there's one left down there there was a there was a set of three trees there a set of three trees there and there were a set of three trees there and I managed to chop those down even though um, it looked like it belonged to field 10 so that's fine and then there was there's three sets of trees there there was a couple of other trees in front which I locked, locked down and got rid of and there was a couple of trees down there which I managed to get rid of as well. So that's how I've earned my money since the last episode. 
Um, and I thought, you know, do a bit of saving up and get some equipment for doing some some animal stuff. So I think the straw goes here, but I can't spread it yet because there aren't any horses in. So if we go and get the other kit, what I might do actually is go and get two horses first and bring them back and then I can get the feed, the hay, the water tank and spread out the straw as well. So I'll head back to the shop, I'll get the horse transport, I'll go and pick up some horses and I'll just speed this up for the um, benefit of the video. Okay, so we're back. We've got two horses. And we're going to just pop them in. Light and Garris. So they're in. We're going to leave the horse trailer there. I'm going to show you the straw bedding. Anderson downloadable content pack dinghy so we're gonna start overloading but doing it right made the wrong oh no it's put some in hasn't it I think you can direct the uh, there you go I've lifted the that nozzle up now. I know the bale spikes going at the same time, but you can lift that up. That's why I was concerned because it was just shooting out all over the floor. So if I do it again, there we go. That's better. Right over his head. There we go. That's good. That's not even used half a bale. Fantastic. We'll drop that off. We'll go and get the uh, Aquatrans. next and I don't have a water refill point on my farm I don't think I haven't placed any mod for it or or anything so and I don't think there's one there although I have read uh, on another YouTube video when someone did a map tour of, of this map Green River that there was a hose somewhere that you could fill up the like a, yeah a tank with water you could fill it up but there's there's plenty of rivers around so I can always back it into a river and fill it up that way which isn't probably the correct way of doing stuff but again it works so what we'll do is we'll head back on the main road rather than the on the field paths and I'll just keep my eye out because I'm sure they said there was a couple of hose positions that you could fill fill this tank up. Oh, actually, there looks like there's one there over the river. Look. It's a refill position. Uh, I thought it was um
Well, I'm next to the river, aren't I? So I'll just fill it. It's not an actual refill position from the hose, it's from the river, I think. Someone should make like a rainwater harvesting mod. I think that'd be pretty cool. Only fills up when it's rained and then it kind of dries up because it doesn't rain for a while. Do -do -do -do. I honestly thought I found a, a water fill position then. I can't believe it's still raining. It's been raining for like six hours. But we're in slower in England. Uh, down here, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm going to put a road in here eventually. So, if I remember, the water one is this one, I think. Yes. So now the horses are watered. Um, and all they need now is food. And to be ridden. So, we'll... I'll do the oats first. So I've got a little trailer back in my compound area. And I've already got some oats in the silo um, that I prepped in the last harvest, ready for doing horses. Oh dear. Great driving there. Don't think we'll need more than that. There's only two of them in there. Almost overloaded it again then. You get that flash up on screen and it's like a reflex. <laughs> this is placed well that I've got enough room to drive around. But now I can overload. I bet this won't take all of it. Oh, -ho. we're going to leave that there for now, and then we're going to go and get the hay. And you can have a little giggle at my failed attempts of loading bales onto the back of the flatbed trailer. It's never goes smoothly. I always end up tipping them over and getting one on and then putting another one on and knocking the first one off. But yeah, the plan next is to own, own this field as well. 
and then I'll have a nice little area. Right, so I've got four hay bales and one straw bale. So I think rather than I'm gonna I'm gonna be ambitious and I'm gonna pick two at a time. Looks like Austin Powers. Two at a time, baby, yeah. Um I need to square myself off a little bit. Just concerned that got spinning around too fast. That top bale is going to fly off. Like a pro, eh? You watch now, though. They'll, they'll, I'll try and tip them off. Hit the camera. Oh well, that went better than expected, I have to say. I'm dragging on the floor now. Right, so let's get do that again. I think I'll put them on the front and then I'll put the round straw bale in the middle see that nearly went then Well, I haven't embarrassed myself at all, have I? Mm. Beautiful. How'd you put the straps on? Click. That's somehow got that. And that one's got that one. Put that one on just for the sake of it. I hope that middle one, that straw bale, I hope that's um, secured. Seems to be secure. So we'll go and feed the horses some hay. And then I won't ride them. Um, you have to ride them every day in order to max out their kind of progress bar. So I won't, I'm not, I'll, I'll ride them later. I'll, at the end of the video, I'll start riding one of them, and I'll close the video off with me riding them, I think. I'll go and get the chickens and, and the sheep before I do that. So I think the food point is the same. I think it's up where they I'm going to drive on my field. Doesn't matter. We haven't got um, what's it turned on. Right, so I think I just have to tip it in. I'm going to move this um, trailer out of the way because I'm going to need that in a minute for getting wheat for the chickens. If I move this out of the way. I 
I don't think I'm going to be ambitious this time. I think I'm just going to do... I'm going to do one bale at a time, because I might only need one bale. But if I tip this down, this should disappear now. Ball. There we go. So if we go and have a look at the horses... Oh, only 4,000 litres, so I do need need another bale. Must be one bale a horse. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, on the next episode, I think what I'm going to do is get some baling equipment. I've got enough kind of grass area around, so if I get a tedder and some um, and a mower and some and a baling a baler, then I can make my own hay. And I think uh, sheep eat grass and hay, grass or hay, so see in a minute, tip this down, there we go, and they're fully fed now, fully watered, fully strawed, strawed, fully fed in terms of oats and hay, so yeah. Good stuff. So if I if we do chickens next, I'm not gonna get any other transporting trailers for animals other than the horse one that I bought. So I'm gonna do those the most. I'm not planning on selling chickens, I'm not planning on selling sheep. So I'm just gonna pay for the um, kinda like the shipping fee. When I, when I buy the chickens and the sheep. Oh, one gone. I need to go and overload the oats back into the silo. And get some wheat for the chickens. Oh. As you can see, I don't have a lot. Should have gone the other way. Wheat. Uh, yeah, we'll just fill it. Put as much in as we can. It'll probably run out before I... Uh, I don't know, 10,000. Okay, so we've got about 2,000 left in the silo. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and take this over to the chickens. Keep spinning around too fast. Now I've already got this conveyor belt because I just find it easy to um, redispense really the the feed that ends up getting pecked out and made a mess of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the trough to start with. Two troughs. So we're ready. Okay, and now we're going to go and buy some chickens. Chickity chick chick to chick chick chicky. Now I was watching something about the seasons mod. Um, I don't have the seasons mod installed, and to be honest, it looks quite in depth. Um, and just as I was starting off again on this map, I've not played this game in about a year. So I just wanted to get kind of get back into it again. And I didn't want to run seasons before I kind of get my head around this all again. So 
I think with seasons you have like different breeds of chicken and some are better th at breeding and some are better at laying eggs and I don't know. Um, but as far as I'm aware, without the seasons mod, I only need one rooster. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Um, but I'm just going to get one. And then I'm just going to get one colour of chicken. Because I, I got multiple colours last time. Um, and like say if I got like 10 white chickens and two black chickens. Then the white chickens as a group would reproduce quicker than the black chickens. Because there was more, more of them. So I think I'm just going to get all one colour this time and I think I'm just going to go for brown chickens and I'll just get a load of brown chickens uh, I did write down actually how many I was wanting to buy I wrote down 100 is that excessive 3, 4, 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 1, 2 20, 30, or 41, I think we'll just go for 50, so now we've got chickens, fantastic, and, um, and this will be where the eggs will eventually appear, so in order to keep the chickens happy, all we've got to do is feed them see that's taken no food whatsoever I'm gonna get I'm gonna get 50 more 50 50 50 brown that's 10 20 oh 31 40 Your pen capacity is already reached. Oh, well, I didn't know that. They're not going to be able to breed, are they? Reproduction rate. Um, I don't think it registers. Do you want chickens? So let me get another colour. Yeah. Oh, I didn't confirm it last time. I've got 51 chickens. I'm just going to leave it. Just leave it and then they'll reproduce themselves, won't they? So we're going to close that, put the lid back on. Right. Now we're going to get some sheep. And again, I believe all the sheep need is food and water. I'm going to close this off. Oh. Oh, let that close. There we go. Oh my gosh. Is this, that must be where the wool, that's where the wool comes. Where's the trigger for? Where's the trigger for buying the sheep then? Oh, open animal dialogue. Where, which sheep shall we get? Which sheep shall we get? Because these will breed in groups as well. 
I like the black and white ones. I did write down again how many I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get 20 sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Confirm. Now we've got 20 sheep. Ah, uh, look at the sheeps. So they need food. I'm hoping they can eat hay. Yes, they can. Fantastic. So we're going to get those are the two hay bales and the water. That was right, wasn't it? Water, yeah. I'm glad we've got some animals. Just makes, you know, makes it more fun, more stuff to do. I'm glad I got rid of all them trees as well. They were doing my head in. So I don't know which one's water and which one's um, food. If I, oh, there's the trigger for. That must be where the wall gets left. I didn't see that last time. Oh no. Right. Oh, it is this one, that's good. connected it before it was done. Right, we're going to get the ba the bales of hay. That's it. Don't know what I was saying. I can't get my words out. I went to say hay, then I went to say Bailey, which is my name, because it rhymes with hay. The first bit does anyway. Anyway, also rhymes with hay. What are you talking about? Seriously, shut up. But then I also went to try and say bales of hay. Oh my gosh, I am just talking rubbish. I do apologise. Put the straps back on. Should probably leave the straw here though. There's nowhere else needs it. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, straps. The next time I harvest, um, any crop where I can enable the straw swath, I think I will do, and I'll start. To, um, I'll get my own baler, but I'm not having to buy bales. Don't like having that help. hoping two bales of hay will do it. If not, I'll have to um, 
get some more. But I'll do that. I'll do that off screen. I'm going to go for the cheeky two now. That's going to tip. Slow and steady. Right, so let's just check that's done first because those troughs look full. Oh, that's worked out really well. It should put us in the green. Yeah, that's, oh no, that's chicken. Yeah, we're in the green. That's fine. So there we go. Chicken's done. Sheep done. And horses nearly done. Gonna leave that there. Really straight. Oh. It's out of the way. In preparation for when that trough overspills. So now we're just going to ride the horses. That's the last last job left to do. Um, it's already four percent, so this shouldn't take too long. I've only got two to do. But what I will do is just thank you again for coming and watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, tune in for the next episode, and I'll um, I'll just finish riding these horses off camera. So yeah, we've got some got some animals on the farm now, which is fantastic. Hopefully, by the next episode, it'll have uh, stopped raining, and we'll have got through a growth cycle or two on crops that we've planted. So. Hopefully we'll be able to harvest those again soon. So, this is where I'll say goodbye and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm Bailey J. And just enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks guys. Bye.